Hello, I'm Bobby Raffin, the Hopepreneur, and that is Pope, my grand puppy. <laughs> so as I was saying, I'm Bobby Raffin with the Hopepreneurs, and I have come across a few different um, things that have come up in my life, and I'm trying to refocus. The thing is, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do yet. I do know that over a year ago, I was let go from my full-time job. I had a full-time uh, work-from-home job for almost 13 years with Wishlist products. And I've never had really an issue finding employment. Now it's been over a year. <laughs> I've applied to so many places. And I have a lot of skills. I have a lot of experience and I'm not getting hired. And I have really good references also. So this comes down to a few things. Okay. Since the big C hit, right? Everybody wants to work from home now. So now the work from home niche, whatever you want to call it, is very um, populated. There's a whole bunch of people going for work at home jobs now. I was doing it before it was cool. <laughs> um, so that's one thing. Another thing is I am a white woman and I'm old. In today's world, that kind of works against me, no matter how smart I am. <laughs> um, I have tried my hand at network marketing. Um, years, years ago, what was it? 1999, 2000, I was in it for about four years and I did pretty well. I did pretty well. It is oversaturated also now. So it's really difficult unless you have a huge fan base, a lot of followers, it's going to be difficult to make a full-time substantial living from that. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing now. I am a Christian. And I love to write and I have been called, I felt I have been, I feel I have been called for years and years to write since I was a little kid. The Lord spoke to me about this the last, oh my goodness, probably about eight years. The Lord has told me to do YouTube videos. I'm not exactly sure on what, though. I know he wants me to speak for him. I know he wants me to get in some sort of ministry, personal ministry, online ministry, something like that. I know he wants me to write. I just don't have the specifics yet. So after um, I was actually applying for this one position that I was told, that I did not get, <laughs> but I was told that I beat out hundreds of other applicants. And I, I don't know how many of the top applicants there were, but I was one of them. And it was a wonderful interviewing process. I really did not dislike it at all. Um, I really wanted to work for the company. I thought I was going to get the job. <laughs> uh, they thanked me and told me how you know, great it was to get to know me and interview and all of this, but they picked somebody else. So I'm coming to the conclusion since I do have, I have technical skills. I have work from home skills and years, years of experience, customer service, um, human resources, uh, administration, um, software tech support. Uh, SEO, website editing and development. I have a lot of skills and experience in that. So why am I not getting employed? So I go back to the conversations I've had with, with God. And so this video is kind of like my breaking out moment. He's told me to do YouTube videos for years. I've done, you know, a few. If you look at my account, I've done a few. 
uh, with business trainings, which I am sure I will continue doing because I really love doing that. I just kind of took a back seat or not a back seat, but I kind of put everything on pause for a year to try to figure out what I'm supposed to do, like what God really wants me to do, because I really want to focus on what God wants. I feel he's calling out a remnant of, of people that he's like, okay, it's time. I want you to work for me now. I want you to speak for me now. We're in the day and age where it's time for you. And it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. I believe I'm in that season now. So I have a lot of things to share. I have a lot of things to write about. I've experienced a lot of things, which some people will call bizarre or think is bizarre. Maybe not believe me. And a lot of the reason, the big reasons I haven't come on and d done these videos yet is because society is so scrutinizing and negative and rude. <laughs> but I've got to get past that fear. If I just want to do what the Lord wants me to do, I've got to get past that fear and um, get a thicker skin in what people might comment on the videos, or, you know, or say about me or to me. So anyway, this is where I'm at. I've had experiences such as seeing Jesus. I seen bits of heaven. I've had either a near death experience or pretty much on the realm of it. It wasn't it wasn't um recorded like I don't have evidence of it. I was by myself, but I know what I saw. Um so I will be sharing that. I will be sharing how the Lord has spoke to me and how the little miracles in my life that I've experienced, I'll be sharing business stuff. But then again, like I'm saying, I'm just kind of talking into the wind right now because I don't know yet. I keep coming on here and saying, Oh, well, now I'm going to do this. And now I'm going to, I don't know. So this is, this is my coming out video of, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> But I know I need to do something. I'm still applying for jobs. I'm I'm a worker. I'm used to having a job since I was young. And, you know, it started in my teenage years working. So having a year off, I'm not used to. <laughs> not having an income, I'm not used to. <laughs> um, my family needs me to help with the income. One thing I'll share right now is after I lost my full-time job, we had to use so much of our savings that our savings was wiped out. And um, my two adult children were actually, they had positions or jobs, if they still do. Um, but they were, they were planning on moving out. And see, with wishlist products, they were acquisition. By first of all, Micah Mitchell with Memoriam. And I was given a 16% raise. I'd never received a raise in almost 13 years that I worked there. So I received a 16% raise and I was moving into the marketing department, uh, working with SEO and uh, community management with a Facebook group and um, updating website pages and, and such. And I loved it. I loved it. I was editing videos and transcriptions and audio. I was doing a lot of fun stuff. I was loving it. Then one day, I was let go. I'm going, what the heck? <laughs> I was just given this huge raise. I'm being transferred into a wonderful department, you know, being promoted basically. And now I'm being let go. Well, I received. Great references from Micah and Tracy Childers, who was one of the co-founders, and from the um, supervisor that I had at the time. 
play references. They're awesome. I miss all of them. I have nothing bad to say about the company or the people I work with. You know, I found out that they were going through some financial issues. You know, that's understandable. And I was the lowest on the totem pole at the time of getting rid of. And my supervisor was actually let go later. There was a few of us that were let go, unfortunately, on a team that have worked together for almost 13 years together. You know, we became family. I love those guys. I still do. I, they're awesome people. Absolutely. Including Micah and all of his team. I love them. But here I am, right? A, over a year later. It was actually October the 6th, 3rd, October 3rd of last year of 2022 that I was let go. And so what I did was after I received my raise and I was being transferred into the marketing team and talking to my supervisor and the marketing team and all of this, I decided to do what I have always wanted, start a farm. <laughs> I grew up on a farm on the side of a mountain, Moon Mountain in Grants Pass, Oregon. And we had chickens and pigs and cows and guineas. That's not guinea pigs, pigs. It's an actual fowl. It's a poultry. It's a guinea. We had those and wild turkey. And um, it was wonderful. I, I miss growing up on a farm. So we have enough property here. It's a corner lot, but it's enough for a backyard farm. So my husband, after five years of begging him to take me camping and fishing, took me camping once during that time and fishing, I think twice or three times in the like the five to actually probably about 10 years I was begging for that. So yeah, it was not very much. He told me when we got married how much he loves to go fishing and camping. Fibber face, fibber face. <laughs> I do. I love it, but I don't get to go anymore. So I said, uh, the last five years, this is how it worked. The last five years, I said, if you do not take me fishing and camping, I'm going to start a backyard farm, backyard farm. And I did this for like five years, gave him a chance, right? Well, after my race, I said, okay, you know what, buddy, <laughs> we're going to take me camping and fishing. Even though he bought me a little uh, boat for my birthday one year, I still have it and I'm going to be using it very soon, but I got sick, so I couldn't use it. So I started a backyard farm. We have now, now have rabbits, we have ducks, and we have chickens. And I love it. I'm not, I'm not good on the dispatching part, the harvesting part good at raising them. <laughs> I'm not good at using them as food yet. I was raised around that, but my heart is very tender for the animals. So I've got to get past that because I have a lot that <laughs> could go in our freezer. But anyway, you know, if you're not into that, don't watch my channel because I'm a backyard farmer. I'm a Christian. I'm a Republican. But if you're into all that, keep watching because I'm going to have some <laughs> fun updates for you. So again, I don't know where this is going. But I was told after I didn't get that job, I was praying and I heard, again, that job was yours to lose. I'm going, wait, I thought I heard that I was getting the job. And he said, the Lord said, you heard that is your job. But I said, it's yours to lose. I'm going, what does that mean, Lord? What did that mean? Well, I lost it. So yeah, I, it was mine to lose. And I did a good job at losing it. <laughs> Even though I was one of the top candidates, which was cool. Um, And then he explained, I told you some specific things that you needed to do. And you did not obey me. You didn't do them. And one of the things was he told me again over and over this whole last year to do YouTube videos for him, to stop walking in my fear of what people are going to think, what my pastor will think of me, what the leaders in my church will think of me, what friends or, or people online that know me will think of me. And I haven't started doing it. The other thing was I... 
was doing thank you notes to all of our leaders in our church. And I got really sick and I didn't hand them in. Well, the Lord told me to add a dollar in each of those cards as a seed offering. My husband said, no, you don't have a job yet. That, those are a lot of people. And he didn't like obey, you know, tell me not to do it, but he didn't want me to do it. So I listened to him. So I'm trying to honor my husband more. I'm trying to be a, you know, a better person all the way around, including in my marriage. I love my husband. I want to honor him. So I didn't do it. And I got sick. I didn't end up handing him in. I still am going to do them and take them to the office. So they have my notes, but my thank you cards. But um, yeah, I did. I, I disobeyed God. And I knew what he was telling me. And yes, you're supposed to submit to your husband. But God's above your husband. And John wasn't hearing what I was hearing. And he said, well, if you really think so, go ahead. But I decided, well, I'll just listen to you. And I didn't do it. And then I got sick and I put everything off and I didn't obey. My job to lose, I lost it. I think. I think I could have gotten that job if I had really obeyed the Lord. But I was also, I didn't want to put any um, social media posts or, you know, a video up about my walk with Christ, about all this God stuff, right? Because I didn't want that to, to take away my chances of getting that job. Wow. How dishonoring to the Lord, right? To Jesus. Totally. So that's on me. That's on me. Not on my husband. That is on me. Not on my church leaders. It's on me. <laughs> so I'm going to be discussing a lot of stuff. Um, I'll, I'm sure I'm going to be doing some trainings. I'm still, even though I'm going to be, you know, using my voice for the Lord in whatever way he sees fit with that. I'm still going to need to earn an income. <laughs> I need to, whoops, I need to feed my backyard. <laughs> I need to pay the house payment. Oh, what I was saying, I don't even know if I finished that, but my adult children decided to stay home and they're making my house payment for me. My husband and I split up our bills, right? And so he's got his bills and I've got my bills. Uh, we share each other's checking accounts. So we're joint on both checking accounts, but we have our own bills that we've assigned to each other. Well, losing my job, I couldn't pay my house payment anymore because all of our savings was used up since then. So my adult children who were planning on moving out and starting their lives decided to stay home and make my mortgage payment for me, for us. Talk about some humble pie. That was humbling. They are still, after a year, making my house payment for me. I've had to have a lot of, um, I've had health issues. Well, after my after I started the backyard farm and I got this promotion or whatnot, not exact promotion, but you know, it was working into it and I got the raise. Um, well, I also had a lot of dental work done. My nails look horrible. I um, had a lot of dental work done. So I had to have like a whole bunch of teeth removed and I was having the implants. Had to put that off because I didn't want to have that bill on my family. So I've had, I have missing teeth that you can see in the video. Right here and up here and here and here. Which, yeah, looks stupid. And I've been afraid to come online because you can see that. It's embarrassing. And I'm old. I'm about 60. So, but then it's like, well, what's more important to me, my vanity or doing what God wants me to do? My hair is just driving me nuts right now. 
And what's more important to me right now, not man's opinion of me, not my vanity. It's all going to the dogs anyway, right? I'm getting older. I'm not going to get any younger. <laughs> the most important thing to me right now, and I'm sorry to say not your opinion. Hopefully you're nice. You'll be nice to me. But if not, I'm just going to have to toughen up, deal with it. Because I am going to do what God wants me to do. That is the number one on my heart and my commitment to him. No matter what. And I'll be telling you the books I read, the studies I've been in, who I follow on YouTube as far as Christian and afterlife and all of that. It's not mystical, it's heaven-based, it's godly. So I guess this is all I'm going to share for today. Get this edited a little bit, not too much, but a little bit. I had to start somewhere. So here you go, God. I love you, Abba. <laughs> this is it. This is the beginning of it. So. I look forward to getting to know you guys. I hope that you subscribe to my channel. And have a blessed day.